Hey y'all, coming to y'all with a message, per right? huge. So today I wanted to talk to y'all about a scripture that I actually came across in the midst of researching, right? And so um, it's Matthew 7, verse um, 6, and it says, Don't give something that is holy to dogs. They will only turn and hurt you. And don't throw your pearls to pigs. They will only step on them. Now, the reason why I love this scripture so much because it's in most simplistic form, it's very direct, unlike some scriptures in the Bible that are hard to understand. This basically tells you, if you fellowship, if you give your time, your energy, your attention to people that don't deserve it or are not deserving of your intention, your time and attention, then they will mishandle whatever it is that God has placed down on the inside of you to share with people that actually are meaningful and valuable enough to receive the blessings or the things that you possess, right? Let me break this down even further. Don't give something that is holy to dogs. Dogs are seen as creatures that walk the earth. And yes, there is love and friendship found in animals. But if it's something that is sacred and it's something that is holy that God has blessed you with and put on the inside of you as a sacred keeping, why would you then share a fellowship with it with people that are not able to handle or hold what it is that you share or possess? My loves, discernment is so important in this season that we're in because you can find yourself fellowshipping with pigs which is why it says don't throw your pearls, the most valuable piece of jewelry that you can ever see to pigs because pigs are a mess. They eat anything, they do anything, they're nonsense, they do anyhow. And every time that you come across them, all you see is turmoil and chaos when it comes to pigs. And they're in their natural habitat. These two things do not coexist. Pearls don't mix with pigs. Dogs don't miss with some, mix with something that is safekeeping in your spirit. My loves, you have to use the spirit of discernment to know who and what you should be fellowshipping with in this season. Everything ain't for everybody. And your gifts, your intellect, and your intention, everybody won't receive. I was talking about this with a friend the other day. Sometimes you can minister and talk to somebody until you're blue in the face and it'll still fall on deaf ears because not everybody has the mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional capacity capacity to handle your gift, to handle who you are as a person, to encompass your full being. That's why when God places you in a season of isolation, don't get upset about it. Rever it, respect it, understand that he knows better than you because he goes ahead of you. He will give you the people that are meant to fellowship and to be a part of what it is that you represent in due time. Everything that God does is in his perfect timing. So my loves, Matthew 7 verse 6 is the most perfect and pronounced scripture in the Bible that tells you in layman's terms, be careful of the company that you keep and who you fellowship with because not everybody can handle the blessings that God placed and the conviction and the spirit God placed down on the inside of you. I hope this message helps someone. Talk to you.